Around every corner at Comic-Con, there's a spectacle. Sometimes exciting, sometimes strange, but always entertaining. This is for fun! This is for fun! TV franchises like this one, Ash vs. Evil Dead, often steal the scene, as do massive exhibits from movie studios. But as Comic-Con blossoms into this multimedia and sensory extravaganza, there are still concerns about the little guy. I'm here at Artist Alley, which has gotten smaller and smaller over the years. Some artists say they're losing clout, while others still feel fortunate to be here. Edwin Huang remembers making below minimum wage as an artist until getting hired to draw the Street Fighter comics for publisher Udon. Uh, for comics, it's, it's pretty rough, man. Uh, it has to be passion because uh, the pay isn't too great, but I'm doing what I love, so that's all that really matters. Doing what you love also motivated Jean Lun Young. I started doing comics in the mid to late 90s, and the American comic book scene in general was almost the wasteland. Once a computer science teacher, Young followed his passion and wrote and illustrated American Born Chinese, the first graphic novel ever to be nominated for a National Book Award. American Born Chinese, um, that really marked uh, a turning point in my career. Before that, every time I put on a comic, I would lose money. Young writes comics, too, including Superman. And just last week, he released the all-new Superman, a Chinese hero from Shanghai. A lot of the reasons why we have problems connecting across cultures with people who look different from us or live differently from us is we forget that those people are also three-dimensional. The, the, the picture that we have in our heads of them is, is a two-dimensional picture. So by creating three-dimensional characters of color, I think we can further, we can just further empathy in, in society. Young says overall the reaction to his new work has been great, with old and new fans alike starstruck on meeting the creator of the new Superman. Mark New, CCTV, San Diego.